everyone, what I'm going to teach you here today is notation for the 3x3x3 three by three by three Rubik's Cube. And what notation is, is it's basically just a way of uh, letting us know how to manipulate the cube. So which side, how many layers, and in what direction to turn it, stuff like that. Or entire cube rotations. So we're going to start off with the single layer uh, notation, and that's really simple. Uh, the layers are designated by a single letter that describes your side. So we got front, F, B, back, L, left, R, right, U for up, and D for down. Now there is one tricky part that might seem counterintuitive about the notation, and that is when you're executing the move, the you execute it as though the face you're executing it on is the one that's facing you. <clears throat> so for front, that's not a problem, that's always facing us. But for back, we are executing it as though we're facing that uh, side. And this is important because the notation denotes turns in clockwise and anti-clockwise. And when you, uh, depending on which way you're facing the cube, that can mean different things. So for instance, clockwise for front is this way. But uh, some people, especially when you're not really thinking about it, might think it's similar for back. So that would be front, and that would be back. But it's not. That is not the case. This is actually back, because that is moving as though we were facing the back side. So if we were to rotate the back, like it was facing us clockwise, we can see red would be on top. So that is actually back. So for notation, we got F, B, L, R, U, and D. And to indicate a clockwise turn, it's simple, it's just a letter. So for F, uh, that would be a front clockwise. But to indicate anti-clockwise, it would be the letter followed by an apostrophe or a prime symbol. So you'd have like F prime, and that indicates anti-clockwise as such. Uh, to indicate two turns, that's the easiest, it would just be F2. So F followed by the number 2. And that just means turn it twice. And it doesn't matter what way you turn it since the result's going to be the same. I could go clockwise or anti-clockwise, same thing. <clears throat> so to review, for a single layer, we have F, F prime, F2. Uh, sorry, B, B prime, B2. R, R prime, R2. L, L prime, L2, U, U prime, U2, D, D prime, D2. That's it for single layer. <clears throat> Alright, on the cube there is also double layer, and that is really easy. It's the exact same as single layer, except um, you're moving two layers at a time. Uh, in notation, the double layer turns are denoted by the exact same thing, except the letter will be in lowercase. So capitals will indicate a single layer, lowercase indicates double layer, and that's really easy. So for example, we have R, or lowercase r, lowercase r prime, and lowercase r2. Uh, similarly for U, lowercase u, lowercase u prime, lowercase u2. And I'm not going to go through them all, because uh, it's the exact same as single layer. So that's all you need to know for double layer. Very simple. All right, there's also inner layer turns, uh, and these manipulate the middle layer. Uh, so there's only three of them. So we have M for middle, which is this layer here. E for equatorial, which is this layer here, the horizontal one. And S for standing, which is this layer here. And you're only ever probably going to see uh, the middle layer variations, the capital one, the single layer middle. Uh, the, these are as follows. We have M, M prime, and M2. There's also E, E prime, E2, and S, S prime, S2. And like I said, the only one you're probably going to see is the middle one. There's also double layer variations of these, and the difference is the middle layer stays static. That is, the middle layer doesn't move. So, for example, we have E, which is as follows. Uh, and that's indicated by the lowercase e, just like all other double layers. Uh, so lowercase e prime, set it back, and lowercase e2. I'm not going to do the other layers because uh, double layer, inner layer turns, you, I've never seen them, so not much point in going into them. 
All right, lastly we have cube rotations, and that is where the entire orientation of the cube changes, like so. And these are referred to by the axis, uh, the three-dimensional axis which the cube sits on. And the three-dimensional axis is as follows. We have X, comes out this side, uh, Y comes down, or goes up, and Z comes out front. And again, these are clockwise and counterclockwise. The easiest way to remember it is to just equate it to uh, their single layer turns. So X would turn uh, like R, So and these are always lowercase as well. So we'd have X, it's just like an R, uh, X prime is like R prime, and X2. Uh, similarly for Y is like U, so we have a Y, Y prime, Y2. Uh, lastly is Z, and Z is like F, where we have Z, Z prime, Z2. And those come up occasionally, but not terribly often. So that's about it for 3x3 notation.